Fillets and chamfers are easy and intuitive to apply to your models in Onshape. The fillet and chamfer icons are grouped together on the toolbar next to other applied features like draft and shell, which we'll cover in another video. Let's look at the fillet first. In the pop-up, you can select any edges or faces of the model. And with the selection box still active, you can continue making selections, or to deselect an item, you can click the red X in the window or just click on it again graphically. I'll go ahead and type in a radius. Onshape also supports conic fillets, which are incredibly useful when styling and aesthetics are important, giving you much more control over the resulting curvature. Without this option enabled, you'll get a standard circular-shaped constant radius fillet, or when you enable it, You can enter a row value to define the curvature. In case conic fillets are new to you, a row value set to 0.5 will result in a parabolic curvature. Less than 0.5 will result in a more elliptical shape. And a value greater than 0.5 will result in a hyperbolic shape. I'll go ahead and click OK to finish. Uh, let's add another fillet feature to break some other edges here. Because the Tangent Propagation option is enabled, it's easy to make selections to pick up the surrounding sharp edges. I'll click OK, and the feature is added. In case you need to make any adjustments, you can always double-click the feature in the Feature List to bring back the same options, where you can change the value or add or remove any of your selections. At this point, let's change gears for a minute and take a quick look at the Chamfer feature. I'll go ahead and launch the chamfer command. The options for the chamfer are very similar to what you saw with the fillet. The tangent propagation option makes it easy to make edge or face selections. I'll enter a distance value, and I can choose to make this distance equal in both directions, or I can specify a distance in two directions, or I can choose to use a distance and an angle value. If I choose to make the distance equal in two directions, the chamfer angle will be equal to 45 degrees. I'll go ahead and add another chamfer feature, and I'll select this face so that the chamfer will be applied to the hole on both sides. And I'll add one more to the edges of these holes on top.